Hey guys, Breakman Z here with another Z Reviews. I've been a fan of adventure games for a long time. You know, the Sierra games like Space Quest, King's Quest, and so forth. Uh, LucasArts also provided some good adventure games like Maniac Mansion and the Monkey Island series. Of course, that was before they decided to drop all that and focus mainly on Star Wars. Well, one of the people that worked on Monkey Island uh, definitely wanted to keep busy. And I'm not talking about Tim Schafer. Uh, I'm instead talking about Ron Gilbert. And Ron has been working with Hothead Games to release this downloadable game for the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade that was uh, came out last week. And it's called Death Spank. The best way to describe uh, the game is, well, pretty much Monkey Island meets Diablo. That's the way a lot of reviewers have uh, kind of described it. And uh, after playing it, I definitely can say, yeah, it's definitely, that's definitely a good analogy. Uh, you play as Death Spank, a uh, hero to who the downtrodden, vanquisher of evil and dispenser of justice. And I realize I sounded like Sam the Eagle there, but trust me, Death Spank is more hilarious at it. Uh, and he has been searching far and wide for an object known simply as the Artifact. And finally, his quest seems to be nearing an end. I'm not going to spoil the rest of the game for you, but let's just say it doesn't end with the artifact. Uh, so, yeah, you'll be uh, wandering around this world doing little quests for uh, various people. And it's definitely a fun little romp. I mean, you get these different weapons. Uh, like, you get different swords, maces, uh, crossbows. And you also get these super weapons that, uh, once you charge your justice meter, uh, it'll unleash a devastating attack. There are special items to help in battle as well. Uh, like you can rain fire down upon your enemies, uh, summon the undead. I mean, it's fun stuff. Uh, and what's also neat is that the world is on like a cylinder, uh, cylinder shape, whatever. Uh, pretty much cutting out load times unless you warp from one location to another. But even then, it's not that big a deal. It's still a fun little game filled with, filled with fun characters, uh, interesting little puzzles, and, you know, well, definitely a lot of enemies that need justice dispensed upon. Uh, the artwork is just very nice. I mean, these are the same guys that worked on the Penny Arcade games, you know, on the Rain Sleek Precipice of Darkness. Those were excellent games, and it definitely reflects also in Death Spank. So... I mean, I don't remember how much uh, Death Spank is on the PS3. Uh, to be honest, I never really checked it out because I got the Xbox Live version. Uh, but the Xbox Live version was about, uh, I think, 1,200 points. So I think that would be a fair uh, estimate for how much it would be on the PS3. All in all, Death Spank is definitely a fun little game. 
Uh, you'll probably get through it in about, uh, I don't know, 5, 8 to 15 hours. Depending on how into the side quests you want to go. Uh, but I can definitely say Death Spank is definitely worth checking out. If anything else, just for the artwork and the fun character dialogue. Oh, and uh, just a little tip if you do get the full version of Death Spank. As you wander around the world, you'll collect these tin cans. Keep hold of them. They'll come in handy for a quest later on in the game. Trust me on this. But enough about that. Final verdict. Death Spank is definitely worth checking out. It's fun. It'll definitely uh, get your attention. And I think it's definitely worth it. So, there you go. Alright, so this has been Breakman Z. Uh, reviewing Death Spank, so I'll catch you guys later. Mayor Safe Files, never be corrupted. Later.